Hey guys, welcome back to the third video this week, day three of Dodge's Speed Week announcements. Last night was the reveal of the brand's future muscle car at the M1 concourse in Pontiac, Michigan, that being what they call the Dodge Charger Daytona SRT, and I'll add Banshee because that's the propulsion system that's being used. This thing has been teased for what feels like forever, beginning at Stellantis EV Day last July, with us just getting to see the car doing a burnout kind of in the dark. We know lots of the details now, so we're going to go in-depth on this car and explore the interior, exterior, performance, features, and more. Dodge is trying to create an exciting battery electric vehicle that's unlike any other vehicle on the road today, and they're trying to one-up the famous SRT Hellcat in terms of performance. So let's get into this. Also keep in mind that this vehicle is still a concept, so we truly don't know how much of it will translate over to the future production version. So this is Dodge's massive step forward towards their electrified future, and with this Dodge Charger Daytona SRT, they are attempting to change the perception of what a battery electric vehicle can be. The Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept offers a glimpse at the brand's electric future through a vehicle that drives like a Dodge, looks like a Dodge, and sounds like a Dodge. Dodge has chosen the Daytona nameplate once again in their race to be faster, quicker, and more powerful. Daytona makes sense as that was the first vehicle to break 200 miles per hour on a NASCAR track in 1970. And that Banshee name, again, represents the new propulsion system, similar to how the Hellcat and Demon names represented their engines. Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskas was proudly wearing a Banshee shirt while he revealed this Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept. He spoke for almost 20 minutes, trying to convince the audience that EVs are a good thing and that we should all embrace them in the muscle car community. He also said, quote, the Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept exists because performance made us do it. Dodge is about muscle, attitude, and performance, and the brand carries that chip on its shoulder and into the BEV segment through a concept loaded with patents, innovations, and performance features that embody the electrified muscle of tomorrow. The Charger Daytona SRT concept can do more than run the car show circuit. It can run a blazing quarter mile, and when it comes to product cycles, it outruns Darwin. Charger Daytona does more than define where Dodge is headed, it will redefine American muscle in the process." End quote. So whether you like EVs or not, I find it very tough to find much wrong with this design. Put another way, it looks absolutely fantastic, blending a new modern look while adding pieces that pay homage to Dodge's muscle car past. The front end looks beautifully retro, calling back to that iconic 1968 Dodge Charger with a narrow but wide grille that features white illuminated lighting. And within the grill, finally we see the return of the Fratzog badge, shining bright red in the center. This symbol was teased by Dodge for the past year, again from the EV day, and it was originally featured on Dodge muscle cars from 1962 through 1976. Back in those days it had no meaning whatsoever, but now Tim Kaniskas has reiterated that this Fratzog represents the electrified future of Dodge, showing how committed Dodge is to their performance heritage, while proving that they're trying to take that next step to electrification. The design continues to unfold up front with what Dodge calls an R-Wing, which is one of three new patent-pending features that uses a unique pass-through design that connects the concept with the iconic Dodge Daytona name. This allows air to flow through the front opening, enhancing downforce and giving the car better aerodynamics. Carbon fiber intakes are found on both sides of the front and rear lower fascias to allow even more air to flow through. The car is finished in what Dodge calls Grays of Thunder paint, the side of the concept really reminds me of the side profile of the current gen Dodge Charger as well. Dodge says they gave the concept waterline tracks around the side to achieve a planted look while emphasizing the upper portion, keeping the visual weight up high. The muscular shape of the wheel fenders also provide a lot of visual width, it's almost like a wide body. Dodge chose to stay relatively simple with this concept, with the headlights hidden deep in the grille underneath the R-Wing and the door handles flush. Moving to the rear end, Dodge continues their racetrack look with a full-width square-shaped design, again throwing it back to muscle cars of the past. The rear gets a 3D illuminated Fratzog badge as well. My favorite part might be the awesome-looking screaming Banshee fender badges, beautifully designed in brushed aluminum to announce the new propulsion system. As for what the car rides on, Dodge went with large 21-inch painted pocket wheels with diamond-cut faces, trying to stay aerodynamic with a turbine-like design. The center locks feature another red Fratzog logo, and six piston calipers peek through beneath those rims. Moving inside, we have a modern and lightweight interior with a driver-centric cockpit, giving it a very different feel from the past Charger and Challenger. The center screen is now 12.3 inches, 
the largest in a Dodge vehicle and it angles 10 degrees towards the driver. The instrument cluster is 16 inches and there's also an 8x3 inch heads up display for additional info. The steering wheel gets a new design, thinner with a flat top and bottom. The center spoke of the steering wheel is not connected to the rim, so it gives the steering wheel a floating feel. Front and center is an illuminated red SRT logo. Paddle shifters are mounted in their usual position with the power shop button on the right and the drive mode controls on the left. The race inspired seats are also very lightweight featuring a perforated pattern of the Fratzog logo once again. The upper seatbacks have openings so they feel airy, but the bolsters don't look very substantial. And also the rear seats can fold flat to provide more storage space than any other previous Dodge muscle car. The instrument panel is slim with a similar mid-bolster design to the new Dodge Hornet. It's finished in ultraviolet with blue and silver accent stitching, and that carries to the console doors and seats. There's also an upper instrument panel that's one step higher to create some elevation. Found in the center console is a pistol grip shifter, so at least there's no dial or button for changing gears like in some of the other Mopar vehicles. The center console looks and feels very lightweight with a pass-through area underneath, and it also includes a jet fighter inspired cap that flips up when engaging the start button. Dodge has added what they call a parametric texture, using inspiration of the 1968 Charger grille on the interior. You can see this on the instrument panel, door, foot area, rear console, and more. The dynamic interior texture has a three-dimensional quality that bounces light and is reactive to the environment, and the lines radiate as they move rearward. Dodge is using what they call attitude adjustment lighting, creating a sweeping color path that runs across the dashboard, up the doors, and through the center of the vehicle. There's also some Daytona lettering in the far right corner of the dash, and a panoramic sunroof to give the cockpit an open air feel. Of course, being a concept, only the needed elements were included, so I really wonder what the production interior will truly look like. Now unfortunately we don't know too much about the most important part of this car, the performance. Tim Kaniskis and Dodge are still hiding that from us, so there is still something to be discovered over the next year before its release. We do know that this car will use an 800 volt Banshee propulsion system, and it will be faster than a Hellcat in all key performance measures. And one of the major components of that is the standard all wheel drive system, which helps the capability and launching off the line. Dodge has a patent pending feature called Erupt, which is their multi-speed transmission with electromechanical shifting. The Charger Daytona SRT concept also gets the Power Shot push to pass feature. Activated by the push of a button on the steering wheel, Power Shot will deliver an adrenaline jolt of increased horsepower for a quick burst of acceleration. We learn more about this on the new Dodge Hornet where it provided a boost of 25 horsepower and delivered instant torque, so that reduced the 060 time by 1 second and provided 15 seconds of that extra horsepower, but we'll have to wait and see what it does on this vehicle. Another patent pending feature is the Fratsonic Chambered Exhaust, which is an industry first BEV exhaust that can reach 126 decibels, making it as loud as a Hellcat powered Dodge. Unlike Tesla, Dodge refused to embrace the silent electric motors, so yes, Dodge has added an exhaust to their electric vehicle. Again, we don't know too much about this exhaust, but it pushes the sound through an amplifier and tuning chamber located at the rear of the vehicle. Dodge says it will create a visceral dark matter sound profile experience in concert with the Erupt transmission. You could hear a little bit of this at the reveal, and honestly it really didn't sound that good, definitely nothing like a V8. So that's it for this unbelievable new Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee. Today's video is just going over all the facts and details, but I'd like to do another one soon sharing my thoughts and getting deeper into my opinions about this car. So what do you guys think of the vehicle? Let me know down in the comment section below. Obviously we don't know about the performance just yet, maybe they say it's faster than a Hellcat, but how about a Tesla? And what about the price? Lots of unanswered questions. I kind of think the interior is a bit too plain, and I'm not a fan of the fake exhaust note, but then again, who would drive a silent Dodge? I'm not fully accepting yet, as this vehicle represents the passing of the torch from Hemi and Ice to EV, which still doesn't sit right with me. For now, we can enjoy the last year of the Dodge Charger and Challenger that we know and love through 2023. So thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content and updates like this, and I'll see you all in the next video.